The Russian Federation is experiencing one of the most rapid growths of HIV AIDS infections in the world, and most infections are due to the sharing of needles and syringes among injecting drug users. These infections are easily prevented in other countries, using cheap and effective programs such as the provision of sterile needles and the substitution of street heroin with medications like methadone. However, Russia ignores scientific evidence and still refuses to adopt these harm reduction programs. At the 53rd session of the Commission on Narcotic Drugs of the United Nations, the HCLU's video advocacy team attended the press conference of the Russian delegation to ask why. In the European Union, they have uh, uh, methadone uh, uh, prescription programs. Uh, uh, does the Russian government think that maybe introducing this kind of programs can <coughs> decrease the demand of drugs in Russia? Что касается второго вопроса по заместительной терапии, так называемой, ну, в большей части говорят, метадоновой терапии, то могу сказать, что э, в России поддерживается консолидированное мнение многих специалистов и наркологов, и органов здравоохранения, наших научных специалистов против этого. Кроме того, научно доказанных клинических испытаний, подтверждающих полезность этого метода, пока наука мировая не располагает. В этом вопросе мы солидарны с нашими коллегами Соединенных Штатов Америки, они имеют такую же позицию, хотя мы не препятствуем каким-то экспериментам с метадоновой терапией в наших регионах, мы не запрещаем, но и не даем так сказать, федеральной поддержки. Yes, today Mr. Ivanov the, from the Federal Drug Control Agency said that there is no evidence that methadone substitution treatment works. Uh, and I uh, ask again, is there any way how UNODC can uh, uh, engage in a dialogue with Russian government to, to change that position? Regarding Russia, yes, I did attend myself the uh, session, the meeting with the press by uh, the uh, drug czar of Russia, Mr. Ivanov. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, he, he made a statement about substitution therapy and methadone as not being successful. We all are entitled to our views. That was he said. I would have not said that. But I also recall, and I pay tribute to him, uh, that he said that there, are, there is no federal legislation in Russia uh, supporting methadone facility, but we love experimentation going on. I love regional entities, including including municipal administration to uh, engage in substitution therapy. I believe that that is something quite positive. What we are left with is uh, to uh, help Russia understand uh, the, the question. Thank you very much. Yesterday there was a press conference of the Russian uh, delegation. And Mr. Ivanov from the Federal Con Drug Control Agency said that uh, there is absolutely no evidence for, for methadone, that methadone works. Mm -hmm. What is the position of the European Commission on o opiate substitution treatment? Uh, the exact opposite of what Mr. Ivanov says on all accounts. Mm -hmm. And we believe that it's peer-reviewed scientific evidence and we are using it. We are using methadone treatment uh, all throughout the EU and we're not going to change that. Do you think that the EU can have a role in convincing the Russians? We're trying. We're trying and we keep talking to them. And we also know that um, we have the support of other partners like the US. I will hope that uh, anybody who's dealing with the Russian government is giving them much better advice than they get now from their specialists. Anybody who speaks, Mr. Ivanov or anybody else who says that this is not an evidence-based intervention is, is directly scientifically wrong. Более того, применение метадоновой терапии на Украине, в Беларуси и в Прибалтийских республиках за время применения мы видим только ухудшение наркоситуации. То есть оно не дало эффекта, наоборот, отрицательный эффект. How successful you think they are? Substitution treatment was implemented in Lithuania in 1995, so I expect it's quite long time for results. And uh, the main point is that um, substitution treatment and the low threshold services led us to uh, decrease new uh, HIV cases 
uh, from 70 percent uh, five years ago to 30 percent so it's quite positive results I think. I've been working with the Clinton Foundation in Ukraine since the advent of methadone in the country, particularly in the Oblast of Dnipropetrovsk. It has worked out very well. There are now over 500 patients in the Oblast on methadone. They need many more in order to impact the huge drug problem that they're having there now. But the patients are extremely happy with it. It's just, just phenomenal to see the changes in their lives. Зато мы располагаем медицинскими данными, подтверждающими, что если героиновая интоксикация снимается за две недели, то метадоновая интоксикация на снятие метадоновой интоксикации уходит 40 суток. Well, many countries start with narcotic clinics detoxifying patients and hoping to support them after they have stopped taking heroin. In fact, we've seen from so many studies that this not only doesn't work, but for those that relapse, and there will be many, everyone is a basic human right has needs access to the medication that will save their lives, prevent infection, prevent overdose. I have a question to Mr. Sidibe. If you could clarify for us uh, whether we can consider um, the restriction of access to sterile needles and the denial of uh, methadone treatment to drug users a human rights violation, if you could talk about this. For me, and not giving a uh, right of a people uh, uh, to have access to services when those services can save life, it is a violation of human rights. And I'm just saying that like that. Uh, Alan Clear from the Harm Reduction com uh, Communication in New York. Um, when a country like Burma violates human rights, they are internationally isolated. When Russia comes to meetings like this and denies the science behind methadone and needle exchange and publicly refutes the science that we all believe in, not a word is said. And yet they're denying access to all these medications, um, to methadone, to sterile syringes and there's no response. What can we do as uh, an international community to actually put pressure on the Russians? The IAS doesn't really have an opportunity to put uh, um, any formal uh, pressure other than bringing the evidence and making the evidence known and basically uh, highlight the gaps that are present. Russia has the largest epidemic in the region with a million people infected with HIV and we are deeply concerned by the non-availability of opioid substitution therapy and the fact that the vast majority of needle and syringe programs are being supported by external donations. We personally believe that uh, when scientific evidence is there, uh, it needs to be used and used to reduce uh, a certain level of suffering. We count on all of you, the press, uh, to make this a priority and to highlight uh, the areas of deficiency that we're uh, here uh, outlining for you.